I was born with congenital glaucoma. I lost my vision when I was 21 due to some complications that came about because of eye surgery. Technology really has impacted my life in almost every way you could possibly imagine. I have an app on my phone that I can point up to my shirt and it will tell me the color of my shirt. It told me this one's red where it's actually blue, so it doesn't work that great sometimes. I have an app that will help me count money. I have a talking GPS app that can help me if I ever get lost. So technology really has permeated every part of my life. I would say that the biggest barrier that I've encountered was dealing with inaccessible technology. There's just a great abundance of educational technologies out there, but if they're not accessible, then they make education more difficult for those people using assistive technologies. It was such an advantage to all the other students in the class, but for me, inaccessible technologies just created this barrier that there really was no way for me to overcome. Students with disabilities today face challenges that I don't think that their peers and faculty fully appreciate. They have to allocate time to learning how to use their technologies and then if the courses they take are not designed to be accessible, that increases the study time for them exponentially. They're spending more time studying, they're working harder uh, behind the scenes. Students with disabilities have the same goals as anybody else. They want to graduate, they want to get a job, they want to contribute to society. You need to make sure with a student with a disability that they have the right tools in place so that they're getting the same information that their peers are in the same time frame. A couple of years ago at Blackboard, we made a pretty profound shift in how we think about developing our products and services. And we did so by putting the learner at the center of all that we do and know that with our customers, we share a joint mission which is to help learners be successful. Most people think of accessibility as a product, but it's so much more than that. For Blackboard, it's important for us to make sure that our software meets not only the industry guidelines, but creates a great experience for these students as they move along their academic journey. They no longer want to retrofit accessibility. They are now considering accessibility earlier on in the design process, and you can see that in the products that are coming out of Blackboard now. Blackboard Collaborate is an interactive and immersive tool that allows people to communicate in real time. It's essentially the idea of having a virtual classroom that anybody can go into. A lot of those activities that you usually will find in face-to-face -face classroom situations um, are able to be performed online using this platform. Inclusive classrooms really make the learning experience welcoming for all students, so students can come in with confidence knowing that that environment has been designed to meet the needs of all learners. So right, right off the bat, it's more user-friendly, and it allows everyone to have a seat at the table. And I think that's so important because then you get more diverse discussions, you get more diverse perspectives. One of the last classes that I took before graduation, one of the few times as a student where I was actually able to take the same exam at the same time in the same room as everybody else. And that's a pretty powerful experience when, you know, I had spent four years prior to that always having to go to disability services for exams or requesting special formats of exams or of textbooks. The Collaborate team take accessibility very, very seriously. They work with the teachers and the students to understand how they are using the tool to make sure that the product is going to be accessible for everybody. I'm really excited about all the interaction that we see with Blackboard around accessibility. They're very engaged and anytime we do find issues and report to them, they, they take action. The users should have input on the design. We're the ones that are working with it out in the field and we understand that teaching and learning environment. So it's really great when we can share that perspective with the developers and help them create born accessible products and products that we know are going to be successful. That responsiveness to the, the end users really sets Collaborate apart. We're absolutely not going to sit still um, when it relates to accessibility. The stakes are too high and it's too important for the future. Uh, we believe that we've set the bar with the Collaborate uh, Ultra experience and we're going to continue to move that bar up and we're going to continue to make all of our products uh, reach to those very, very high standards that schools expect and that students deserve in their learning experiences. They really are pioneers in terms of accessibility. 